10 minutes away yes. from the oven. We have it okay, in red. We've got it right it's coming here. up. We've been cooking with it for, what, 48 hours now. The thing's still going strong. In 10 minutes, it'll be the last and final chance to be able to get this. Just okay. FYI, because we're really limited. This Talk grill about pan your grill pan. is such Hi, a Rochelle. beautiful piece. How are you, Hi, honey? Rochelle. Rochelle, still do I have happy one going? Here we go. Yes. Look at this. So, I've got this beautiful grill pan, and of course, what I've done here is I've put an induction base on it, right? Because it is the ultimate grill pan. Double handles, you've got all those ridges down there so you can get the flavor of grilled meats all year long. And then that beautiful stainless steel disc, super, super strong, will not buckle, will not bow. And of course it means that you can put it on induction, on electric, on gas. It is just the ultimate. All right, let's start cooking because we've got oh. lots to get through here. What should I start with, some burgers? Yeah, you do burgers, nice, let's do burgers first. You want a nice hot pan, I'm gonna what throw want, my Rochelle? burgers in here. You've been working hard for- Oh, I've been the French toast. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> What bread did you use in the French toast all morning? You've been like holding that going, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, also we have a grill press available, Chef. Oh, I know well, it's full of press, Michelle, Do you have it's that? Like oh, here we go. So here it is, and this is what this is how it works. You can see those grill marks. We actually make this out of cast iron. And why we do that is because we want to put a little bit of weight down on those burgers. Why is that? Why do you want some weight on well, that? Well, just so it cooks nice and evenly. You want to get maximum contact with the actual grill, so you're getting all of that caramelization. If I was doing a spatchcock, chicken would that be great for spatch cut chicken? absolutely now here's the deal I'm using aluminum to make the pan I'm hanging that off my pinky you'll go to say some companies and all they do is cast iron or all they do is aluminum or all they do is stainless steel the reason is because they're a stainless steel company or they're an iron company I'm not I choose the <laughs> best metal for the right the right purpose I want this to be lightweight for you so we use forged aluminum I want it to be fast even heating that's why we use aluminum for this I want it to be nice and heavy because I want it to actually sit down and make some and contact that on that grill. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Now, so, another thing uh, I think so amazing about sure. your pans, while they are very lightweight, they're incredibly durable. How did you pull off getting that just tenacity in a pan without having to be really heavy? Right, well, what I wanted to do was I really wanted to... Um, we've got a sea Sorry. of cords down here. <laughs> no worries. He's about to trip over all Tell these cords. Tell me what cords. you just asked me. Okay. I said they're very lightweight. <laughs> yes. And yet they can take it. They're really durable. Oh, very strong. Well, we put the stainless steel disc on the bottom. Right. And that's what we love about it. So if you're waking up tomorrow morning and thinking to yourself, I want to cook um, eggs and bacon, guess what? You can throw it all in the pan, right, just like this, and then you can slide the whole thing out just like that. The cleanup is the best part of all. Yeah. You're literally going to reach for a towel, you're going to reach in here, give it a real quick scrub, and it's done. Now, if you guys have seen yesterday, we sold... Do we sold have any of those left at all? A crazy amount. Of, <laughs> I think we sold 12,000 of these. Yeah. We have just a couple of thousand left to go around. We still have it in which colors, Rocky? We've got the red, I know Do you know, red, Rocky, know which we had? We started out with four colors, but I can guarantee we do not have four colors Thank you, now. Mate. Sorry, we're we'll throwing questions We'll get the info for you in just a right. second. But what they're for is for the handles, also for the lids on our formerly known as today's special. You're going to see another look at it. They'll work on the lid tops, which I thought was Gorgeous. great. Rochelle, oh, Rochelle, French the French toast is, is done. Is that the toast out of our bread warmer? Bread. Our yes, bread that's the, the bread maker. Oh, what kind yeah. of bread we did you make? nice and thick cinnamon raisins. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> cut it nice and thick, glazed it with maple as it was baked, as it was cooking. Stop, seriously? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. That Stop was it. Cool. Stop talking Wait. dirty to me, Rochelle. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> He's starting to sweat. He's like, my, my. But guys, I want you to see, that was ooey, gooey, ooey, gooey, gooey. You couldn't ask for more ooey gooey. Did you right. notice Chef cleaned that pan out with a cloth and it's ready to go with the next recipe? Right, so now I'm going to throw some apples in here and we're going to caramelize those up until they're nice and golden brown. Right, next, I've got those burgers that I'm about to turn. Let me show you, let's get a little silly here though, Rochelle. We've got a hot pan here. I'm actually going to throw some Parmesan cheese right on in and I'm going to burn that. Then I'm going to jump into an animation. Rocky, do we have the animation ready to show everybody exactly how we build the Dura pan? We, well, we don't, but you know, look, it's, it's the exact same construction that we always use. Right. Forged aluminum, which gives you that fast, even heating. Then we go ahead and we use those beautiful stainless steel handles. The stainless steel disc on the base of the pan, of course, is what gives it all of its beautiful strength, and you can hear it right there. We put a pour sprout in both corners of this. Brilliant. Just such a beautiful grill pan. We call it the ultimate grill pan because it's the ultimate grill pan. Well, and guys, really remember that, that interior is four times the strength right. of traditional nonstick. Four times! 
Imagine if your laundry could do four times the capacity. That's that's an impressive upgrade. That's what you're getting in any of this. And when you see the big 14-piece cookware set coming up, stay with us if you missed it. It's ten dollars more than yesterday, which is, was our today it's special. It's the exact same construction Close. inside here. You know, Chef Two. I think this oh, is a great way to introduce someone to your pans. Oh, it sure is. Right. Well, look what I'm doing here. I'm throwing cheese under my burgers, right? Now, normally you'd be waiting for that to melt, whether you're inside or outside. But guess what? I've got my little cloche here, which is this beautiful domed lid that you can drop onto a pan like this. You can drop onto an outside grill, absolutely anything. Of course, we can go straight to the oven because we've got things in there. Um, and you know, when you're baking, there's just so many beautiful ways to do it. We've got this gorgeous spatchcock so chicken. Now, I keep mentioning this spatchcock chicken because I <laughs> love it. I do too. We are about to sell out of it. Another thing that I want you guys to pick up on while you're in the ordering process is make sure you get the trivet. It goes up to 500 degrees. You throw it over your kitchen counter, this red hot pan straight out of it's the oven. It's also a drying rack, by the way. Down. Yeah, you can Which, throw it over your sink. I mean, look, we've got it set up in the back there. The back. All right, we're going to go to the phone you know, and say hi to Debbie in Texas. Oh, yeah. She has a question for you, Chef. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. You're on with Chef and Suzanne. Welcome. How you doing? Well, thank you for having me on and, and uh, being. being able to talk to y'all. No problem. I've called before. I am a Durapan girl. I yeah. love the products. What is it so that you love about this, sweetheart? I love the the, the uh, quality. I like the cleanup. I like the durability. I like everything. I mean, I've gotten rid of everything else I've had, and I have been using it. I did a try me, and I'm hooked for life now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I've got uh, several of your Durapans and bakings and seasonings and all kinds of stuff. But I have a question, a quick question. Yeah, sure. Uh, I uh, have a five-burner gas stove, and in the yeah. center, I've got a nine-inch elongated burner. Okay. And I was just wondering, on the um, oval pans yeah. that are in the Today Special, yeah. underneath, they have a round... Uh, conduction Correct. Um, disc. A stainless steel disc, disc yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you put that on that elongated, because yeah. it's not, you know, will I hurt the pan by using it on a gas stove? Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense, and the answer is absolutely not. Here's the thing. Okay. That stainless steel disc is really there to ground the pan. It's to make sure that we give it the appropriate amount of strength because we want to make sure that it's never going to buckle or warp. The aluminum is such a great heat conductor. That stainless steel disc will let that heat through and you'll get that incredible heat going right through that pan. So you can use it on gas, on electric, on uh, any, any kind of Induction. Cooktop. Induction, of course. Yeah, so don't worry. Right. You, you will get just as good a uh, performance out of that on a, on a gas stove as you will electric stove. Long, round, doesn't matter. You're going to okay. love it. It's just that I didn't want to ruin the oval pan on the um I the love burner. how much she loves it. Elongated, on the yeah. elongated burner. No, yeah. don't worry, you won't. Right. You All right, won't. Debbie? Now, if the handles okay. get hot, darling, because the gas is coming up on that, you need these, these little silicon handles, right. and I'm using those on all of my cooktop today. Now, have a look at what, while Debbie's been chatting to us, <laughs> look what's happened. Thanks, You're Debbie, catching for your the call, studio my on fire. Great question. <laughs> look, I threw parmesan cheese in here. It's now black. Watch this. I can just go ahead 